Now both control surfaces are on and now I have to glue the fin down into this slot. This part of it will go through this, the tailplane and we need glue here along the slot. I'm, I'm then going to put some CA glue underneath here when, when it's sitting in the right place. So I, we, I just put some wood glue on. <coughs> I've put the tape down to make sure the glue doesn't go everywhere. Um, can put some down here. Doesn't really do any any good. Well, everything <laughs> glue is uh, going everywhere now, like that. Now it's sitting in in place, and glue is everywhere. So I'm going to scrape it off with a knife. Oh, look at this. It's disgusting. Just have to f hope that it's doing any doing uh, some useful work. Wet some tissue and wipe it away. not um, terrible when you when you've cleaned it off and it's a very good idea to remove the tape immediately if there's any glue left it will just glue the tape down now I'm going to uh, put a little bit of CA glue underneath the front part of the tail fin. I don't think it, I don't know if it does any, uh, if it's useful in any way, but it uh, doesn't harm anything to put it there. And to make sure there's no unhardened CA glue, I just put some kicker on it. Now this has to harden. Now we have to make up the steering cables and these uh, orange cables um, come with a kit, some, um, some clevises and fasteners. These are two and a half centimeters long so you can screw them a centimeter into the uh, cable and about a centimeter into the clevis and then you have about half a centimeter that you can use to make adjustments. We just start by screwing it into, it's a good idea to have a flat, um, a flat some flat pliers and then just um, this orange snake uh, screws quite well in here. Um, I measure how far I've gone. And now I'm going to try and put this. It's not as easy, but if you push, it's a good idea to hold, hit this part, and then screw it on. <coughs> you really have to push al along with the clevis to get it to go where it should go. Uh, one thing is certain, after it's gone on, 
it will not uh, vibrate off. There we are. Now I've got a couple of clevises on and we can open it with a screwdriver like this. These uh, cables have to be uh, put into the uh, the tubes in the in the fuselage and then fastened to the um, the arms on the servos and uh, according to the plan it will go on into the third hole in the control horn now we can slide these uh, orange thingies in and according to the plan we put it into the third hole the and the only way to do that is to drill through the hole a little bit I've uh, increased the size to two millimeters and that is uh, that fits for the clevis and underneath like this now these control services can move now we can mark that step number 45 is finished <laughs>